Hey, what's up guys? Caleb here from Aylesworth Razors. Welcome to the channel or welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at Raspberry Methogen from the Duff Soap Company. For the brush, we're going to be using this beautiful Jupiter brush from Leonidum Brushes out of Europe with a 26 millimeter cashmere knot. And for the razor, first time on video, we're going to be using the production version of the Dracon Plus plate in machined finish. So it's uh, Sunday here. Hope you guys had a nice weekend. Mine was pretty chill. Working on about, let's see if it's Sunday, about two days worth of growth. Um, I did a live shave before that uh, one chip challenge on Friday night. If you guys didn't catch that, myself, Nate from BBS.Live, Brandon of Brandon Shaves, and Greg Tardif all did the 2022 Packy One Chip Challenge. Um, that was interesting. <laughs> if you want to catch the replay, you can go over to the BBS Live Instagram account and catch the replay. I don't want to spoil anything, but it was uh, it was quite the show. <laughs> It was pretty intense for about a good 15 minutes and then there was some aftermath for about an hour and a half after that and um, actually we all continued to chat that night after the show and then over the weekend and man did it ever linger it was uh you know the heat the spice was terrible for about 10-15 minutes but it was actually the stomach hit that chip was so hard to digest and uh we all struggled with it for like a good day day and a half afterwards so very interesting i don't recommend it i really don't um i was curious what it was going to be like and the hype is real it's as bad as they say it is If you're new to the channel, um, feel free to uh, like and subscribe if you like anything that you see in this video. Now on to the first impression of the video. That is Raspberry Methlogen from McDuff Soap Company. That's a soap maker out of Alberta, Canada. There's the pour right there. That is 120 grams, which is about 4.25 ounces. It's a kind of a nice brownish pour. The base is a very creamy soft base, uh, bordering on a crope. So just be mindful if you are a tub loader, it can be very easy to overload. I'm a bowl latherer, so um, I usually just scoop anyway. But if you are a tub loader, just be very careful. It probably requires much less loading than some of the other harder soap bases that you're used to dealing with. McDuff Soap is a fantastic soap maker. The base is really, really nice, really creamy, really thick, rich, luxurious. Um, a lot of really nice fragrances. I think I this might be my fourth or fifth McDuff Soap at this point. And I haven't had a miss yet with McDuff's. They've all been great. This one, Raspberry Methlogen, is a kind of a sweeter kind of gourmand fragrance, although I wouldn't call it overly gourmand. Um, it's meant to have the smell of like the honeycomb or beeswax that, that bees create. The scent notes are raw honeycomb, raspberry, ginger, vanilla, rose hip and hibiscus, which are flowers, which kind of makes sense because bees collect pollen from flowers. And then um, beeswax, I think is the last note. I would say the scent strength is right about medium. 
and it's not overly sweet. Raspberry is the first note, that's why it's called raspberry methylogen, and I would say raspberry is definitely the most forward scent note in there. I don't get a lot of the florals, the hibiscus and rose hip. I don't really get the ginger, but I do get some of that sweet honey in there too. But again, not cloying, not overly sweet. The price point is somewhere right around $25 Canadian or $20 US, which is, you know, a little bit higher than the standard price of about $20 Canadian or, you know, $17-ish US for most artisan soaps. But not as expensive as some of the more expensive soaps, which can get up to like 25 or even $30 US. And, you know, it's a really nice, luxurious artisan base, so I definitely think it's worth it for the price. And I would say the fragrance is a really light, bright, slightly sweet, um, comforting, fruity fragrance. It almost reminds me of a, like a fruity herbal tea with honey in it. So very nice. For the razor, I'm using the plus version of this razor right here, which is the Dracon razor. If you're not familiar with this razor, um, it's designed by me, Aylesworth Razors, linked down below. And it is a plus level of efficiency with about a 0.99 millimeter blade gap. And a 0.12 millimeter exposure. The original version of this razor was more of like a milder daily driver style razor. With a 0.73 millimeter gap and neutral exposure. This razor is very smooth and comfortable as well. You don't tend to pay for it in terms of comfort. Looks like I got a tiny bit of blood right there, but nothing Too much to worry about there. I usually don't shave every day. I usually shave about every maybe three to four days. Sometimes when I shave after one or two days, I can have a tendency to maybe shave a little bit more than I need to given the amount of hair growth. And I'm actually gonna call that done right there after two passes. I'm already BBS and in fact, maybe shaved a little bit too close with just uh, only two days worth of growth in that plus level plate. Very nice indeed though. Let's try this raspberry methylogen splash. Hmm, not overly strong in the sting area. Hmm. I think the fragrance profile is a good deal more complex on the splash. Definitely getting more of the honey and more of the florals, the uh, hibiscus and rose hip, but the raspberry is still the most forward note. So that's gonna be it for the shave. Raspberry methylogen, very nice. Another hit for me for McDuff's. Really like this fragrance. It really does feel kind of like a nice, um, comforting, almost like fruity herbal tea with honey. That's how I would describe it. So if you like a nice warm herbal tea to, to comfort you sometimes or just make you feel good, um, like that kind of fruit tea flavor with a bit of honey in there, this one is going to be the one for you. And for the razor, that is the Dracant Plus Plate and Machine Finish. 
It's my second time using it. The first time I used it, I had like probably a good five or six days worth of growth. Um, I'm gonna say I'll probably stick to the original Dracon plate with the 0.73 millimeter gap for daily shaving and just kind of daily driver shaving. This might be actually a little bit too much blade for me with only one or two days worth of growth, um, but your mileage may vary. Uh, but yeah, with, with several days worth of growth or coarser hair, that's, uh, that's going to be your go-to right there. So that's it for the video. Hope you all liked it. Uh, if you haven't gone ahead and checked out that one chip challenge, go ahead and check it out. Oh, and by the way, the reason we were doing the one chip challenge was for to raise uh, money for charity for St. Jude's Children's Hospital and Cancer Research. We, it's still running. Um, go over and check out Brandon Shave's Instagram profile. The link is in there. And uh, yeah, go out and donate and support. Uh, you know, it's for a very worthy cause and every little bit is appreciated. That's gonna be it. Uh, thank you guys, I appreciate you, and I will see you in the next video.